So it's 2021 now, and I'm really curious as to uh, why the standard length of a no-budget horror film is still expected to be 90 minutes. 90 minutes. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, <clears throat> I understand for a long time, distributors set that standard on films. I am a firm believer that the market has that what little market is left has no um, need for an hour and a half long no budget or low budget film um, especially if you're doing the horror genre uh, like horror comedy or horror or whatever um, a 90 minute movie is excessive and and there's a lot of reasons why um, but coming from a background of somebody who loves to watch no budget movies the main problem that i have with it is that um uh, the concepts that are dealt with in these movies with the materials that people have are really interesting for a period but then that period goes away so um i think the average audience you can keep their attention with kind of your interesting concept for a film for about an hour tops I'm a big advocate of the 55-minute format. I think the 55-minute format, even shorter, 45 to 55-minute format, should be a target format for um, filmmakers who are working on a very low budget. Um, the difference between low and no budget is a no-budget film typically is categorized as a film that's made for under $10,000, and low budget, I think, is under 100000 or 50000 um, which is way more money than I'm dealing with. So I'm in the no budget category. Um, so let's just talk about no budget films because that's where I'm familiar. Um, as a fan of these films though, I've watched them for years and the, one of the biggest problems with them is the film goes on a lot longer than it needs to. And after having kind of worked here and there on on projects before uh, other people's projects and now working on my own project the the big reason i think people aim for the 90 minute is simply because distributors say that they require 90 minutes to distribute the film i just don't understand why that is um in most cases distributors that are dealing with no budget horror in particular and that's really what i'm talking about here is no budget horror fantasy um, because that's where I'm the most familiar. But most of your consumers of those films are not overly concerned with what the content of the film is. They are buying cover art and concepts, right? Um, nobody is buying the film Sex Squatch or um, Hot Tub um, Sorority Massacre uh, believing that they're buying a Martin Scorsese film, you know, that's going to really, they're not doing that. They're buying it simply to own it because they like the title or whatever. Um, and they think that it's cool and they can tell their buddies they have it. And I, yeah, I'm certainly in that boat. So, um, my problem though, is that those films really like are not made to be great movies anyways why the requirement on these movies to be 90 minutes long the, do you think somebody that's going to buy um you know hot tub sorority massacre do you think somebody that's going to buy that is going to not buy it because it's 55 minutes instead of 90 minutes no they're going to buy it either way so what my point is though is with the 55 minute format why don't no budget filmmakers focus on making a watchably bad film for 55 minutes? Because that's always my goal is to watch, make something that's watchably bad. So make that for 55 minutes and make it interesting for 55 minutes instead of trying to draw it out for 90 minutes. What you end up with when you do that is dialogue sequences that go on too long, shots that run on too long. It just gets boring. The gimmick, the fun part of those films, goes away after about 30 minutes. So after about 30 minutes of watching it, the new car smell wears off, and then you're just in it, okay? 55 minutes is good. You can keep somebody's interest and have them leaving the film and possibly wanting to watch it again, um, and they'll watch the film all the way through. What I'm doing to combat that is simply that I'll probably distribute my own film if I can't find a distributor to give good terms under what I want for what's a 55-minute film. Um, and I'm okay with that because the great thing about making a no-budget film is I've spent so little in making the film, relatively, 
Um, uh, and we did some fundraising and stuff, but uh, when the film's all said and done, it'll be less than $3,000. So I should be able to, to get that back. Like I, sh I shouldn't have an issue selling DVDs, Merc, whatever, and getting that back. But I just don't understand th being stuck on this, uh, the 90 minutes or more, uh, two hours. Who wants to watch Sex Squatch that's two hours long? Like, who's going to watch that movie for two hours? No one is going to watch that movie. Um, even if it was a well-done horror film with a big budget, I don't know that most people would want to watch a film with that kind of concept for two hours because, the again, the new car smell wears off. So, as filmmakers, I think, working in the no-budget, you know, B, bad movie genre that I'm... I enjoy working in. I, I really think we need to make a decision to move to the shorter format. I think that for the consumer, it's a better choice. For us creatively, it's a better choice because we can focus on using the resources we have to make a movie that is more palatable um, and that an audience would be more eager to watch through. I think it's just better. I think it's just better for the genre. It's better for us as filmmakers. It's better better for the consumer. Um, and distributors can either catch up or they won't. Um, and I think that that's not going to be a problem. I think that if we just kind of collectively made that decision and started doing it, the distributors would uh, follow along. Um, and if they didn't, that's fine. The The means right now with the internet, it's 2021. You just release your own movie. If you're making movies for next to nothing, it doesn't take a lot of sales to make a profit in, in that format. So uh, I just, I just am not, I'm have no interest in making an hour and a half long, low, no budget movie. I have no interest in doing that. I think that it is, um, quite frankly, abusive to the audience and to, uh, myself. So, um, the 90 minute requirement is absurd. And, um, I get it back in the day, whenever you actually showed these things in theaters and, and, uh, and whatnot, like, you know, you had, uh, or you had to justify VHS sales or whatever. I mean, I understand like why we got, why we are where we are. Um, but it's, that time's gone. I mean, you have TV formats and stuff that are a lot shorter than that. that are very successful. Um, there's just no reason to do an hour and a half long, um, no budget, crappy horror film. There's no reason to do that. 